Uh, when I see my kids play a little bit when they were in high school, it comes back a little bit or when college football comes. But no, I, I love this game. This is the only thing I've done since high school and uh, this is my life. We know it's a little different, but you, of course, bringing home Olympic gold back in 2000. Have you gotten a chance to talk to guys like Cedric and Santander about their WBC experience? I have. You know, when Ced got named uh, to it last year, I mentioned to him about my experience and how to prepare for it. And then obviously when he came back, kind of the same message that he has that I see him talking to other people about, that it's a chance of a lifetime. What was some of the advice that you were able to give them before they shipped off? Uh, it's just about the relationships and about the different game, um, the different style of competition compared to what they're used to every day. And I knew at the end of this, when they got back, it's a totally different feeling when you're playing for your country than sometimes with an organization, unless you get to like the playoffs or World Series. You've been a hitting coach, a manager, a development coach, an outfield and base running coach, now the first baseman, and you've got the stopwatch. We see it all the time. You are one of the masters of making what's happening right now for the Orioles work. What have all of these different experiences really combined to give you? I think for all of us coaches who've been around the game for a while, use our life experiences from rookie ball to extend it as we go up the chain. And it's just watching the game, understanding tendencies of what pitchers are trying to do and just continue to teach the game and, and stay up with all the new technology that's available to us. Yeah, well, you mentioned the new technology. We've got all the new rules this year, the bigger bases, the ability to disengage only a few times. What's the biggest game changer for the fact the O's already have 10 on the season? I think it's kind of early in the season right now to know if that clock has really changed anything. I know we've had some early success this year, and that's credit to all these players. I mean, they do their homework and they're prepared, and, you know, there's a trust factor that's with it too. Uh, so I think it's too early to tell. Maybe in about another month down the road, I'll have a better answer for you. Do you think we're going to see some more game changers this year? Everybody knows Mateo and Sed can take off, but who's someone else in that lineup that might be a little sneaky? I think we have a lot of guys that, you know, in their own different way, have their own technique, how to take advantage of some pitchers. It may be at second base, at first base. Uh, so uh, we'll see. Uh, like I said, we've got some guys who can really run. you got McKenna and, you know, some of the young kids who are coming up now all have stole some base in the minor leagues, which helps us out here. All right, lastly, it's the big one. If you had to put a number on how many of the O's take at the end of the season, you got to give us one. No, I, I can't put a number on it because <laughs> when you're teaching guys like Mateo and Mullins and the guys we have in this clubhouse, I mean, health is number one. If they're healthy, uh, there's no telling what these guys can do. Is it different this year for this team? Do you feel that? I do. I see more confidence as these guys grow up and come to spring training. I remember a couple years ago, Mullins and Hazy, those guys were just wondering if they're going to be playing or be the fourth or fifth outfielder. And now they're the guys, and you can see the way they carry themselves.